This is a short video on how to add your Zoom meeting link to Blackboard with a few tips that will help students get there. So the first step is to go to your course website and add it here under links. So I'm going to click on here. I'm going to add a content area and maybe we'll call it uh, Zoom meetings and we'll make it available to the students. That's important to check that off, otherwise they won't see it. The, Zoom, the, the new links fall down to the bottom. I'm gonna put it under communication, and then uh, I'm gonna click on it here. We're gonna go inside, and I'm going to build an item where I'm going to put Zoom meeting details, and there we go. And now I've prepared it in a Word document, so I'm going to copy it from there. I'm going to run it through a more simplified text editor. Uh, because when you copy-paste stuff from Word, it is a high-end Word processor. Blackboard doesn't always know what to do with it. So if you have on PC a text editor, or if you're on Mac, uh, Notes, run it through there and then it comes through a little less jumbled than normal. So I'll get rid of this because it's already in the title up at the top and I'll just get rid of the extra spaces. So I've got all the details here. I've also got uh, a link on how to join a Zoom meeting. Uh, it is available on YouTube so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to put my cursor just below there and I'm going to go to mashup, the mashup tool and I'm going to check that arrow, go to YouTube. You don't want to load videos online because it's going to overload the system. I put the, the co I copied the share link from YouTube and now it's going to search that up and there it is. Make sure you get the right video. Once you have that, you select it and then you have some options. So it's going to have a picture of the thumbnail, and yeah, I want to show the, the URL and I'll submit it there and there. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of this extra link. And so this is just, you know, it'll be a quick, easy link for students. And then I've posted here a link to the Zoom help website. UWindsor doesn't support Zoom, but the tutorials on Zoom are outstanding. So these are short micro videos about individual features. Um, so good to give that to students so they can always find things at any time of day or night. Then I'm going to click submit and you see it there. So if they want to watch the video, it's there. They can join the Zoom meeting and they've got the passcode. One more thing I'll show you actually about the passcode. Sometimes you have ambiguous numbers or letters like the letter zero or O. So what I do is uh, I tend to make the numbers red. You know, is that a one or an I, a capital I? I don't know. So once you know which ones are numbers or letters, add a little bit of red text in there and that'll help students know what the passcode is. And then you can submit that. And there it is. That's how you integrate it with Blackboard.